how to create your course banner image. Now your course banner image is that big long image at the top of your landing page. So it wants to be something that's going to represent the course, but isn't going to be distorted or cause a problem when that image may be resized automatically when people are viewing that page on different types of devices. Obviously a, a desktop view of that will be very different to what a mobile view of that might look like. So you need to make sure that you have a planning for that as you're selecting an image. Now if you already have one, fantastic. If not, not, you're going to go into something like canva.com it's completely free of charge you're going to go to use custom dimensions now make sure you check what theme of Thinkific you're using because all of the dimensions are slightly different depending on the theme that you've picked but the most common size in Thinkific at the moment is 1440 by 400 simply press design and that will open up the blank template for you and then all you can do simply is either search inside canva use other stock image libraries that you can use to then import your image and quite simply then then uh, download that. Then once you've got that, you're going to head into your online school and you're going to go to my courses. And when you're in my courses, quite simply then pick the course that it is you want to add that particular image to. So we're going to click on this lady's course and then you'll get this landing page editor come up. So you have all of the different options along the top, but you're going to click on the landing page and you're going to scroll down to banner. And this is where you can now simply press the upload button and go ahead and pick the image that you want to upload. Once your banner image is uploaded, you'll then see that you have this thing called a banner overlay. So this is where uh, basically a film, if you like, is put over the top of your image. You can choose how thick that overlay is. Now the tone of that overlay will reflect the branding color that you've selected for your school. So if you've got like a, a red branding color, the tone of this overlay will have that red wash type effect. Now the higher the percentage of opacity is, um, the, the thicker and less see-through it will be. So you you can decide whether you want zero so literally, literally press zero and it will just show the pure image without any overlay over the top whatsoever and you can see in the preview box up there what that will look like you may decide you want to maybe add a, um, a low overlay to give it that kind of slightly washed color uh, from your particular brand theme so that it's all it all ties everything together so entirely up to you how you do that simply play around with that and see how you like it um, and then obviously decide what the overlay color will be so we can go and pick the branding color for this now you would need the hex code of your brand color so to do that I'm actually going to pick this lady's um, this lady's website here I've got the uh, color pick eyedropper free chrome tool so you download that from chrome and when you turn that on you can hover over any color and pull that color in so you can get the hex code for it so I'd click on the color I want the hex code for and this little code that comes up here is the hex code so now if I go back into this lady's school here I can select the tone of that by simply clicking on the color drop down highlighting the text that's already there and pasting the new color in and selecting choose and this will now give you the preview of exactly what tone that will now bring in so this can really show you what that might look like so again decide maybe you want it zero have a look see what it looks like and play around until you are completely satisfied with getting that course banner image right for you